Hey everybody, it's the daughter of Thorin. I'm out here on a really nice day and um, actually it, it had crossed my mind um, to actually try and speak about soul groups today. Now, um, I think the information is coming to me like this, so um, it would be completely obvious um, to recognize and identify that you would be in a soul group if <clears throat> you had made you had made a fr like a deeper connection or kinship to the children you were raised around um, you know like it would be you would have been in your childhood basically but when you meet that other child from another parent and you grow and build a friendship with this person um, the, those, that generation that you grew up with will be the people from your soul group. Because, um, I was, I was raised in Nevada, but I was raised in a very small ghost town. And it only consisted of a few people. <clears throat> so... When this happens, and you meet other people around where you're living, when you're a small child, and you meet other small children that you, that you particularly grew up with, that will be, those will be the people from your soul group. Because you've, you've made a deep connection with one another. And, and these, in this matrix, um, these particular circumstances with either a group of children who had grew up together that would that would be a soul group so my my soul group my my particular soul group um i think most of them are in nevada where where i where i had grew up but my, but most of them, uh, most of the kids who are in my class, they either left the, the town where I was living to just, you know, just to get out of that town because it wasn't, the town was not developing, it wasn't growing, so there wasn't many um, opportunities there where I was, the place where I was raised. And it basically consisted of desert and these really tall stone abandoned buildings. My, sis my, my sister and, uh, well, my three sisters, yeah. And, and a few of our friends, we used to go and uh, walk to this really big abandoned um, stone, like concrete um, it looked like a pillar, but it was, <clears throat> it was like a, um, it was like, it, it reminded me of like a, like a concrete fort. It was really tall. So, there were a lot of memories back then where, where I used to, where I used to be, where I was raised as a small child. has a lot of, um, I have a lot of childhood memories there. <clears throat> and I will, I will go back there one day, um, to make peace, but for now I'm just here. I'm here by Mount Shasta, so I'm trying to send my energy to that and other things <clears throat> that are within nature. I try to send my energy to and to... Um, Mount Shasta.
Anyway, I think I'm going to stop this video now. Um, it has low battery. I will charge my phone. So, so if you're a starseed watching this, um, basically, um, the other people who, who, who you were raised around as a small child are the people that are going to be from your soul group. And if you want to reconnect with them, you can. Um, <clears throat> I understand that most, because I'm an adult now, um, we all have things we gotta do, and we have responsibilities we need to take care of, but, I mean, if you want to rekindle a relationship with a person from your soul group, <clears throat> I mean, that wouldn't hurt at all. I mean, you guys can share... And talk about past memories and all of that. You can reminisce. That's the special thing about a childhood friend. Is that you guys will have the same memories. But that's only if you've been keeping in contact with this person. Or a group of childhood friends. That's, that's when you know you're... You're like, you're staying with your soul group. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and go out for a walk today. It's a very nice day. I might go walking out to the creek later. <clears throat> Alright, you guys. I am the daughter of Thorin, and I'm signing out now. Have a nice day.